Turn your video from this to this. Ever wondered how to transform your videos from dull to cinematic? In this video, we'll reveal the secrets of color grading using powerful color wheels that are available in CapCut Pro. You'll learn how to enhance shadows, balance midtones, and perfect the overall tint, making your footage look professional and cinematic. If you haven't signed up for Pro, just click on our link in the description and sign up. You will get an extra seven days subscription for free. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more awesome tutorials. Welcome to Creative Suit Tutorials YouTube channel. Today, we will show you how to use color wheels for color grading in CapCut PC. If you are using free CapCut, you will not see this option, so make sure to upgrade to Pro. Now, we have imported log footage here in CapCut PC, and you can download it from the link given below. Log footage gives us more control over the color grading. We will click on this video and go to the adjustment panel. Now here, the normal color grading has been already explained in two of our videos. The one is simple color grading using the basic section. In the cinematic color grading, you can see how to use the other two options, and in this video, we will use color wheels. Now, here on the top, we can see a box to enable this feature and use it. It has a pro label, which means we can only use this if we have subscribed to a pro version. An interesting feature is that we can add keyframes to all of the settings in color wheels. From here, we can choose either to keep the primary settings or to use the log settings. It depends on the type of footage we are editing. As for this video, we are using log footage, but we will keep our settings as primary to better understand. From here, we can control the intensity of our color grading. Now let's look at the first color wheel, which is for the shadow setting. From here, we can change the values of three RGB colors. This slider allows us to adjust the exposure of shadowed areas, while this allows us to adjust saturation. First, let's adjust these sliders, and after that, we will change the wheel settings. Now this color wheel allows us to adjust the shadowed areas in our image or video. By manipulating this wheel, we can enhance or correct the hues present in the darker parts of your footage. This is particularly useful for removing unwanted color casts from shadows or adding a specific mood or tone to our project. Setting these values requires patience, and we can look for the best settings as per our video mood. The middle gray wheel is used to adjust the midtones or the middle gray areas of our image. This is where the majority of our image's details lie, so fine tuning the midtones can significantly impact the overall look and feel of the video. Now, let's adjust the middle gray tone wheel. We will follow the same procedure as before and look for the best settings. Tint adjustment affects the overall tint of the image. This control is great for making global color corrections or adding a creative color overlay to the entire image, which can unify the color palette of our video. Now, let's adjust the tint wheel. 
we will follow the same procedure as before and look for the best settings. We are near to completion of our color grading using color wheels. The offset wheel allows us to adjust the overall color offset, impacting the entire image. This is useful for making broad adjustments to the color balance and ensuring the overall color tone is consistent throughout the video. Now let's adjust the offset wheel. We will follow the same procedure as before and look for the best settings. Our color wheel corrections are completed now, and let's do some basic color corrections using the basic section. By mastering these HSL controls along with the color wheel adjustments, we can enhance the visual quality of our videos, making them more engaging and visually appealing. We can also use the Save as Preset option to save the color correction for future use. This was our first tutorial for advanced video editing using CapCut PC. We have a lot of interesting stuff and techniques for you, so make sure you keep learning and enhance your video editing skills. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, take care.